Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. I really pay a lot of attention to the red maple. I think it's a very, very important key feature to pay attention to in February, or it depends where you're at in the country. Uh, this right here, uh, the last video, I talked about this a little bit, the red maple. And the reason I, I try to express this because this is a stage in the season where things can move forward. So it's very, very important. Uh, from what we found over the years by studying the timing of these bees when they bring in pollen and when they bring in nectar and how they build, it's they all react to the red maple. Um, it's 11.30 right here. It's February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. And this red maple here is open pretty good and it's still cold out it's still just barely over 50 degrees and the way pollen is uh, bees seem to work different pollen at different time of the day so I, I can just barely see a couple bees around this right now so there's not a whole lot of bees around it but it is open pretty good and bloomed out but like i said I, I want to try to express this to everyone you can use this as a marker every year and no one can say no one can say you know february 2nd uh, or third week in february where wherever you're at in your part of the country these will bloom at different times of course here it's uh about mid-February, just like I said way back months ago about when it would bloom. And that's that's when it's blooming. So we use this as a guideline uh, to start building up. Uh, if weather's providing and you don't have a big cold snap coming up, start feeding two to one sugar water. Some people won't agree with this. I'm just telling you by experience, this is what I do every year and this works out excellent. Just like feeding the pollen throughout the winter. You know, a lot of people won't agree with me on that, and a lot of people will. I'm just telling you by my personal experience and how well it's worked for us. It's worked excellent. And your bees will come out of the winter extremely strong. Uh, about this time, the bees will just almost completely stop feeding off that pollen feeder. Because once there's real pollen out there, that's what they'll go for. And we start feeding the two to one sugar water and as long as there's not a cold snap ahead of you, go ahead and start feeding two to one if your red maple is bloomed. Now that doesn't mean uh, people in Pennsylvania or New York or upper New York or wherever, that don't mean go ahead and start feeding now. Watch in your area when this blooms. In upper New York or Michigan or wherever, that might be uh, a month from now or a month and a half from now, because you're way behind us as far as, uh, you know, the, the coming of the spring. So, now, what I'm going to do, providing it's not raining, I'm going to come out here. I can start seeing a little bit more bees. I don't know if you can make them out on the camera or not. There's some starting to pay attention to it, because it's just barely popping above 50 degrees, and... If I don't make it out, I worked last night, so if I don't make it out here in a little bit, I'll try to get up early this evening. And if it's not raining, hopefully it's not raining because I know that the next couple of days it's supposed to rain. So for some reason, if it's raining, then I won't be able to get the, the footage that I want. But I'm, I'm trying to put, uh, this is very important. Spread this out to anyone because this is a good guideline to go by. It's, you know, even if you're collecting for honey, you can start feeding sugar water to get your hive built up and get your population built up for spring before you put your supers on. Of course, when you put your supers on, you stop feeding sugar water. Uh, but if you're in the, in the bee production like we are, you just keep on feeding as long as they'll take it that's how we do because we propagate bees so 
I'm gonna come back later on and we're gonna check and see how this is doing. Okay, I'm back. It's starting to warm up a little bit and the traffic is definitely picking up. Starting to see a handful of bees now coming up to the the red maple. You can see one right there. There's several up high that I'll never get on camera. There's some right above my head here. So as it's warming up, it's, it's finally getting up to about 50 three I think 54 <clears throat> so the it's finally getting warm enough for them to, to move around a little bit but as the day goes on this tree will get really really packed out heavy with that you can see it there's a I don't know if we can see it on the camera that bee right there's got some pollen on her leg so so they're working it I'm not gonna bore you too much with that uh, but but I can't stress enough about the, the importance of this timing with this and, and I know a lot of times videos like this don't get a lot of views because I know they're boring I really don't get into the hive and show a lot of bees and stuff but it's very important to get this message out to a lot of beekeepers because this is a very important time in, in the beekeeping year it's time to, to move forward with, with the feeding, provided you don't have a long cold snap ahead of you. It's time to start feeding uh, two to one sugar water. And we'll go down in the hive here and pull some old sugar out and, and fill it up with some sugar water. Okay, I'm back. The bees in this hive, they're, they're starting to move around a little bit. Uh, it's still cold. It's just it's windy and That's hoping it'd be a little bit more warmer today to To show what we're doing and to show the activity. I just had watched a few of them bringing in some pollen Let's see if we can see some Bringing it in or not But what we're going to do we're going to Empty that old rapid feeder with the sugar water or with the sugar the dry sugar what's left of it and Oh, there's come one with some red pollen, some bright red pollen. Let's see. Let's see if we can spot what. But as the day goes on, they're going to increase more and more as it gets warmer, and this hopefully this wind will calm down a little bit. So there's one with a little bit of yellow pollen on her leg. Okay, well you can see there's a little bit of traffic here coming one with some bright orange pollen So they're definitely bringing in pollen And the different colors, I mean that right there proves to you that it's not from the pollen feeder and there's very little Coming from there. So So what I'm gonna do usually what I do I'll take this you can see it's 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 ate down quite a bit they normally don't eat all of it throughout the winter because they they have a lot of storage of their own uh, th This actually needs cleaned out a little bit over winter. It's got a little bit dirty. You can see the the bees down in there Waiting so usually what I'll do I have one ready and clean one of our rapid feeders and Put it down in there they're they're eager and ready to to eat they immediately come up and check out and see what's going on. I'll go ahead and put our sugar water in. This is a two to one. It may be a little bit weaker. I may have got a little bit too much water. I just I mixed up a little bass just for demonstration purposes. I don't have any. Uh, my feeder had got broken the pipes, and I just had fixed it there yesterday. So, um, and I haven't got any sugar water mixed up yet. So as you can see, they come up pretty fast in these feeders. Uh, these things are very versatile. Like I said in previous videos, if you don't have any of these, at least try to get you one or two and just experiment with them and see what you think. Because once you start using these things, I'm telling you, you won't want another feeder. And that, I'm not telling you this as a, as a sales pitch because we do sell them. It's not that. I'm just, I'm just as 
trying to help out the new beekeeper, as inexpensive as these are, you can't beat these feeders. They're bar none the best thing you'll find. It's it it puts the feeder right directly in the middle. A lot of those ladder type feeders, of course, on this on the end, and they're they're really really hard to keep clean. Those homemade jobs. I mean, you can make them. You got so much time invested in making them. Uh, the the ladders, the the sugar water will, will and the essential oils in the the sugar water will eat at that wire. So it just it's once we started using these, we never went back. We used a few of them in our uh, mini nukes, but now we even use as you can see that one right there, and it's got a lot of. Kind of excuse the mess. I'm still doing clean up maintenance. You can see right here this this little hive here is a little two framer that we got through the winter is uh working pretty hard, looking pretty good. So of course there's geese, goosey, goosey. Uh, just to show you the the pollen feeder. You remember the previous videos how how much they just absolutely pour this thing up well now unless it's out no it's got plenty in there they're just not taking it now they've got too much elsewhere so you'll notice that if you ever get start feeding this there's a few showing a little bit of attention but not much they just don't uh, they have no interest in it but the sugar water, I can assure you, that they actually took it faster than I thought they would. They come up immediately as soon as I put it up there, and they'll have that sucked down in no time. These things will start building up. Now, uh, the queen will throttle up. So you're feeding sugar water, so unless you're just in extreme cold conditions, uh, putting moisture in the hive is not going to be an issue especially if it's ventilated so if you got well ventilated hive and, and keep in mind too uh, a lot of these huge big commercial growers they feed all winter they use internal feeders and feed all winter they feed a really really heavy mix and I guess because their hives are so big and so strong the moisture and they ventilate them really well it's just not an issue but, uh, you know, I, for the smaller highs like what we usually run and, and even 10 frames and 8 frames, um, I would still suggest get through the cold spell before you start feeding. But if your nighttime temperatures are, are around about 20s, high 20, you know, mid to high 20s, and uh, daytime temperatures getting up to the 50s or 60s, your red maple's blooming, start feeding. It's time to go. It's time to start increasing these bees to get them built up, to get them strong. Uh, coming out, uh, I'm telling you, winter bees are the strongest thing that you ever see throughout the whole year. When these things start building up, they'll build up like no other bees that you've had throughout the whole year. Because once everything starts blooming and you start feeding them, I'm telling you, they increase fast and strong and that's what you want get your hives built up whether you're collecting for honey or you're collecting for uh, propagation of bees you want the strength build up and start it now if that's if you're in the right part of the country that the red maples in in the temperature so just keep that in mind you got to count in all those factors and uh, don't forget barnyardbees.com if you want any of these feeders these rapid feeders there's, they're good, and we got we got thousands of them. So uh, we also wholesale these. I think in quantities over a hundred, maybe fifty. I'm not sure. You'd have to call the store or, uh, for sure. It's either fifty or a hundred that we start wholesaling these at. So uh, take your old sugar. You can take it, and uh, what I would do is collect a bunch of it and put it in your uh, your external community feeders that's what I'd use them for I wouldn't I, I wouldn't put it back unless it's pretty clean I wouldn't put it back in to the hive top feeders because it'll just make another mess again once you got your feeders clean you don't want to cause another mess in there so that's about it 
I can ramble on all day and, and I won't shut up unless I end the video. So uh, don't forget, pass these videos along, especially the new beekeeper, somebody that's not seen our videos. Please share them on Facebook, YouTube, email, text, however you want to share them. Let's get the message out to the new beekeeper and because if the new beekeeper succeeds, then we all succeed because the more people that will get out there and raise bees and do it successfully is good for everybody anybody that eats so uh, keep that in mind don't forget click on the little bell like subscribe and don't forget also i need to mention about our coffee chat um our coffee chat i've already mentioned in the last video is march the 16th and what we plan on doing is we're going to do like a a random we're going to go around and film throughout that day so there'll be bits and pieces clipped together in into the into a longer video that i'm going to show uh probably that following week so everyone can, can kind, of, kind of be a part of it because a lot of people have been wanting us to film so probably what i'll do i'll film a little bit myself but i'll probably have somebody else filming the most part because people once they come in that store you can't get away and start grabbing your phone to film because they will as soon as you stop uh, talking to somebody somebody else is tapping you on the shoulder one and starting to ask questions so we're going to do that uh now if you remember back and this has been a couple months ago uh we had a, a giveaway prize and i haven't forgot about that uh we're going to pick the giveaway prize and at the same time we're going to announce our next giveaway which will be another free package this last one was a was a, a few tools a t-shirt it was a, a jar honey but this one will be a package of bees for our 100,000 subscriber count so so kind of look out for that we're going to give away another package of bees when we hit 100,000 subscribers and uh, of course we'll mail the, the bees out in into March 1st of May but uh that's what the drawing will be for. I think we have 95, 94, 95,000 subscribers. So we're getting there. We're gaining about 100 to 150 subs a day. So it's it's really growing and growing fast. So don't forget, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.